How's it going, everybody? We are out on the ice. Woo. We're trying for a good, I, oh, there's my cousin Jacob. We're trying for a good ice outing, hopefully. Uh, we had one really phenomenal day ice fishing so far this year. Um, we're actually down 12 miles. This is where it all started. This is where the first time I ever ice camped. But what's crazy about today, it's 60 degrees today and it's gonna be 40 tomorrow. So it's getting a little soft on top. You don't see a lot of water, but it's getting a little soft on top. But we're gonna be trying to camp out tonight. We're gonna be targeting crappies overnight, hopefully a walleye. Um, be maybe get into some perch and some nice bluegills. Supposedly they're getting some good bluegills down here. So hopefully we get onto some fish. We're gonna bring you along and uh, let's hope for a banger of a fishing time. Heck yeah, let's get going. Put my phone away so I don't lose it. We got three or four by you. Uh, oh, that's a nice got fish. Him. Got him. That's a nice fish. Holy cow. You got him. I can see it. there was two of them. That's a, what did I hook? Surely that's not bluegill. Almost running like a bass. I think it's a crappie. Nice crappie. It's in the tree now. Uh -uh. Yep. I just hit the tree. There we go. Coming out. I can't horse it. Oh, out. Out of the tree. Ooh. It is a crappie. It's a big one. I just seen it. Dude, I'm watching it go up. I'm watching it swim back to the dune. This has got some weight to it. It's a 14 inch perch. 14 inch perch. First fish. Oh no, big large mouth. <laughs> First fish of the trip, big large mouth, guys. Ooh, he got that hook good. I'm surprised he didn't come off in that tree. Eh, it's about a pound and a half large mouth. It's a nice fish, guys. Here we go. Now he's coming up. Come on, big bluegill. It's bigger and longer than that. He's got friends too. Yeah, I don't. Oh wait, we're not gonna do that this video. <laughs> Keeper bluegill. Hey guys, this is one of the fish that we're after. Nice eater size bluegill. That's probably about an eight and a half inch bluegill. Awesome. That's what we're after. And then some. Come on, bite it. Got him. Got him again. <laughs> we already used that for a title. Dang it, Trevor. <laughs> uh, this one's going to go back in the drink. A uh, little smaller bluegill. If I didn't know there was a bunch of bigger ones in here, I'd probably keep them, to be honest. <laughs> So all I'm using you guys is of course is my Wonder Bread tungsten jig, a couple of red spikes. Coming in hot. Two of them. Ooh, there's the wind. He's on. This one might have a little bit more weight to it. We're gonna horse these up. Come on. <clears throat> uh, still not quite keeper. I was desperate. <laughs> oh, he jumped back out of the hole. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. There we go. This has got a little weight to it. Not as much as the bass.
All right, another keeper bluegill. Off to a good start, guys. Their bellies are kind of sunken in. They must be pretty hungry. Off to a good start. Ooh, he's coming in hot. Oh, and they stopped. Come on, come on. It's a good mark. Be a 14 inch perch, come on. Oh, he said goodbye. Oh, there's another one coming up hot. Oh, he's on it. Perch. Perch. Not a 14 inch perch, but it's a keeper. You got more coming in. All right, guys, we gotta get back down there quick. I love perch. This was my target fish, perch and walleye. And then bluegill for a bonus, and surely we'll get in some crappies. You stay there. <laughs> or we're gonna jig up his buddy. Ooh, that's a big mark. That's a more solid mark anyways. Ooh! Ooh, ooh. This is probably another bass. I can't believe how far this sucker pulled my rod down when it hit. No, not in the tree, not in the tree. Come on, I can't even horse him. There we go. Coming up, coming up, coming up slow. Big walleye, watch, big walleye. Not really fighting like a walleye though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that bass. Ooh, he's got a pretty cool scar on him. Jacob, you want this hole? <laughs> okay. Ooh, he's, he's beat up. He's got a broken up jaw up here. That's a chunk, guys. That's like a... Ooh, he's got a big scar on his gill plate. That's like a, I don't know, two, two and a half pound bass right there. I bet you he'd measure out 17, 18 inches. Holy cow. Nice big bass. Second one for the day so far. Kicking off good. Did you just throw one back? Yeah, that's too small. Ooh, that one just nailed it. This will be a keeper. Crappie. A little on the small side, but I think we're gonna catch less crappie. So I bet you our limits aren't gonna be an issue for crappie. Eh, I mean, that's about the size of the bluegill flays. I got plenty of those flays. I'm here to keep fish. I want some flays. Oh geez, whole school, look at this. Oh my gosh. They just showed up at like four feet off bottom and just started chasing. And I missed the first bite. Ooh, that's a nice one. Just keep catching. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Crappie. Bigger one. <laughs> He's popped off. Alright. Uh, nine and a half, ten inch crappie. Let's just start pile right there. <laughs> so they, that's probably why they came in higher. They call me the fish king. <laughs> <laughs> They're turned on now. I'm not over here. I just spooked some. Three of them. I think this one is a hair on the small side. Oh, no. I hooked my sweatshirt. Okay. 
we're gonna fish fish here until they either slow down or it gets dark and then we're probably gonna go try to find somewhere to set up the hub for the night got him <laughs> Yeah, that's a keeper deal. How fast can we get our limited gills? We're eating fish tonight, guys. There's quite a few in the area. Dude, there's at least 30 fish that way. Coming straight at you. They look like they were up higher or down low? They're on the bottom. Going. Probably gills then. That's a nicer gill. Big male. Actually, they're mixed in. They're high and low. Are they lying? I wonder if that's what it is. I've seen it on boats. I haven't seen an ice fishing now. <laughs> when I told you that hole, I meant a different hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This guy's a little small. I'm gonna throw him back. The funny thing is I just reeled up and now they're over here. <laughs> That's how it works too. Never fails. Oh I got one. Not while I got fish in here. I got one on the drop. Oh yeah. Ooh, this one feels different. Is this perch or crappie? Crappie. Nice, nice crappie. White crappie too. Oh, oh, I don't have my bibs on. I can't get you in my legs. That's a nice one. That was about four feet off bottom. You got a long body to him, but that's a white crappie for you. What? They're schooling through on the flat. And we are on that little valley that I was talking about. So that's something that they want. Little crappie. We're going to throw this one back. I know that first one I kept is probably about this big, though. Come on up high. These fish are seven feet off the bottom here. What are you? Fighting like a gill? Because you are a gill. And a keeper one at that. Snuggies. Come on up. Come get the dinner so you can be my dinner. Big perch, big perch, come on. Big perch, big perch. Nope. Huh? Catching so many fish I can't keep my hand dry. Hey guys, it's starting to get a little dark now. I'll probably still try to record, see if we can still get it on film. Um, we're going to be moving over here in a little bit and probably setting up the shelter. Getting ready for the night. Oh, well, we got set up for the night. We did not find the crappies yet unless they roll through later. We were scouting quite a bit during the dark just trying to find a decent spot and see if we can find a school of crappie possibly that just wasn't there but we got set up and we're stopping starting to drop glow jigs down to the bottom and guess what do we get more bluegill <laughs> not gonna complain so earlier we caught 36 bluegill right before dark nine crappie and one perch and then those two bass and i think we're gonna finish out our bluegill limit tonight just glowing jigs and dropping them down cooking some fish Gonna be going to bed here after a bit. 
It's going to be a good trip here, guys. It's nice to get on some fish like that. Oh. Jacob's excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if anything fun happens, I'll get, get back to you guys tonight. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Wait, you recording though? Yep. You gonna record yourself catching that fish? I did say I want to get a night fishing video. <laughs> well, I thought I'd be for crappie, not for bluegill. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Cooking fish and catching fish. Got him stuck on the transducer though. Little guy this time. We were catching bluegill through the night. Little Guys, one. if you want to catch bluegills, you know where to go. <laughs> we got 40 to 50 degree days coming up in the forecast. No cold. And it's just barely freezing at night on the lows, so... See how this goes. Uh, morning, everybody. Still waking up. Pretty crazy bite last night, you guys. We ended up finishing off our bluegill limit last night. And, uh, yeah. They just consistently kept coming through all night and just slowly jigging or just dead sticking a jigging wax worms. And man, they were killing it. So we're still, still trying for some other fish, some crappie and some perch. I'm going to get to making breakfast here in a minute. That'll help wake me up some. Then we might go exploring a little bit. Kind of want to find a spot for crappie. We've maybe got, I don't know, 15 crappie or so, so far. Between yesterday and this morning. I think we caught maybe four crappie through the night. Well, pretty fun trip, you guys. I'm glad I came down to 12 Mile. I just wish we would have better weather conditions so we could get down here more than once. But we're going to make the best of it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make the best of it for sure. Look at this. Now we're talking. Some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Oh, man, yeah. This came all the way up to six feet just to hit that big. Just an abundance of boogie on this lake. That's awesome. The smart guy would cook at the table he brought. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Oh, bacon's done. Now we're on the eggs. Breakfast is going to be good in the shack today. Still got fish coming through, but I took a break from fishing so I can actually cook breakfast. Mm. 
There we go. Breakfast is served. Ain't nobody going hungry today. Mm. Jacob, come get breakfast. Jacob. He must be pretty far away. Let's try not to knock his pan over. Jacob, come get breakfast! <laughs> He's a couple hundred yards that way. <laughs> he heard me though. I'm gonna let the pan cool off. I'm gonna sort out a few things and then I'm gonna try to shoot a video for ice camping, guys. If you guys are interested in going ice camping, you might want to watch and have a little checklist of what you might want to bring. You know, and, and make a list before you leave because, you know, then, then you remember a pillow so you don't have to use a blanket as a pillow. But anyways, see if I can help you guys out and get you guys out on the ice and camping in style. All right, you guys, check this out. Woo! Look at this. We are done with bluegill. We got our limit. This is going to go towards a couple fish fries here in the future. Really good day fishing, I'll tell you what. If this is our last trip for the year, which it isn't, but if it was, it's a good trip. But we're going to start packing up the hut. We're going to go get some fish clean. Maybe I'll show you guys some of that there at the fish clean house. And This trip is done. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Caught quite a few fish. Caught some on camera. Had a lot of fun. Really excited. I'm glad to have a good trip. You guys have a good one out there. Be safe, especially with this warmer temps coming up if you're here in central Iowa and <coughs> similar areas. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys later.